Hello everyone this is Tuba Mirza and welcome to Recoding All the code used inside this video are mentioned inside the description box So if you like the work we are doing and if you're learning something from our videos please do subscribe to our channel and share it with your group because your subscription will make this type of video happen in the future So without any further ado let's get started In this video today, we are going to learn about Core ML and Vision Kit. We are making an object recognition app using MobileNet version 2. Things which we are going to learn in this video are how to implement a vision library inside the Swift UI application, how to use ML model file inside Xcode. and how to hook ML model to vision kit making request and get a response. Let's check out the demo application which we have finally made. We are building an app that will recognize objects from images and tell us what is inside the image. The app works simply you need to tap the icon on the top corner. Select a photo and let the algorithm work on that. So here you can see that on top of the image, we can see that it's showing prediction. Now let's dive into why we are using MobileNet Neural Network. MobileNet V2 is a significant advancement in the field of mobile and embedded vision applications. Its innovative use of inverted residuals, linear bottlenecks and depth-wise separable convolutions makes it an efficient and powerful architecture for a wide range of tasks. As mobile and embedded devices continue to evolve, MobileNet V2 will undoubtedly play a crucial role in enabling real-time on-device AI applications. Now let's start building the application. First, create an Xcode project with SwiftUI. Then download the MobileNet model from Apple's developer website. We are going to download MobileNet with 32-bit floating point number as it is very efficient in recognizing an object. After downloading the ML model, drag and drop the model inside Xcode. Check copy item if needed and press finish. So here we can see that ML is successfully imported into a project. Now start building the classifier. Create a Swift file called as classifier. Import vision. Import core image libraries. Then create a class called as classifier which confirms to the observable object. Inside it create a published wrapper called as a result which is a type of optional string. Add another published wrapper confident same type as of result. Then create a public function which can help to interact with a class object from outside. Call this function detect which takes a core image as a parameter. Inside it try to load the model. Add a try statement and vision core ml model function and add a model name. After our load is successful, we use Vision Core ML request which will take the model as a parameter and try to load neural network inside the Apple neural chip. Then we create a handler that uses Vision Image request handler which takes the image. After request handler, we try to perform our request inside the neural network.
after handling the request, our neural network spit out some results, which we store inside the result constant, which is an array of vision classification observations as we are using the classification model. Then we create another constant first result, which shows the first result from the result array. We assign confidence and result published values so we can pass to another view. Now inside content file view, add state of selected image which confirms to photo picker item which will be nil as beginning. Import photo UI package. Then create another state called as selected image data which confirms to data and is also nil initially. Initialize the classifier object. Inside body, create a navigation stack. Then create a Z stack. Inside it, check that if the selected image data has value, then we'll convert data to UI image. Then we use image view and add UI image variable inside it. Inside else, show a text. To select the image, add some modifier inside it. Add navigation title. Add inline navigation title mode. Add toolbar. Inside toolbar modifier, create edge stack and add button using the photo picker button provided by photo UI inside it at the corresponding parameter. Add label with system image. Add on change modifier, add selected image variable to check its change value. Inside it, add a task. Inside task, check we receive data from photo library using if let path. Then try to load item from photo library. If we get data, then we assign data value to the selected image data. We can now see that we are able to load the image. After assigning a value of data to the selected image data, down below we use our classifier detect function and pass the image. After the inside view, we check that we got the value of result inside classifier object. If it's not nil, then we show a view. We are going to show a vstack. For each item inside the result, we show a text view. Add some modifier value. And down below, we show confidence. Add some modifier value.
So finally, you can see that we are able to see the result. So this is how we use Core ML model and Vision Kit to build an image classifier application. Apart from using MobileNet, we can use another ML model and make our application more robust to different tasks. Try doing that with a different model and let us know in the comment section below. And yes, let us know what you liked or disliked about this video in the comment section. Please do like and subscribe to our channel. And yes, do not forget to suggest some more topics. For now, I'll be signing off. We'll definitely see you all in the next video.